today we're going to talk about helmets, specifically which helmet's the right one for you. If you're an entry level user versus a professional driver, you might have completely different requirements. One thing that's important to remember though, the right helmet for your friend may not be the right helmet for you. It's always best to try them on yourself before ever buying one. In the industry, we more or less break down folks' heads into a couple different shapes. Even though you may measure out at a specific size, helmets may not fit quite how you were expecting them to based on your head shape. If you have a round head like me, you'll probably want to check out the Bell line. That includes the Bell M8, the GP3, and also their entry level B2 line. Even though they're all made by the same company, it's worth considering that each one has a slightly different padding system which will make them fit a little bit differently. The B2 Vision has been one of our favorite helmets for entry level folks. It has the largest visor on the market and it's a reasonable price at $350. If you're one of those folks that has a head that's slightly in between the rounder and the slender types of helmets, I'd definitely check out the Pyrotech Ultrasport. It's also worth noting that this has a fully removable liner, which means you can adjust the cheek pads and get a little bit more custom fit versus some of the other products that are out there. If you're one of my folks that has a really slender head, then I definitely recommend checking out the HJC liner. Most of their helmets run a little bit narrower on the cheek area while still allowing a large area on the crown. So this typically fits folks who have very slender, slender faces. If you're not sure what kind of helmet you probably wear, it's best to head down to your local shop and try a few on. Or of course, you can always consult places like WDL Racing or some of the other larger motorsports facilities out there, and I'm sure someone can help you figure it out. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below or shoot us a message and we'll do our best to get back to you.